The first feature that we'll be discussing today is how to access the custom metadata without executing your SQL statement. So with Spring 21 release, Salesforce will give you some methods with which you can access your custom metadata to get a map of the entire custom metadata or a specific record from the metadata without running your SQL statement. So I've created a custom metadata called country in my Spring 21 org. This metadata is having only one custom field called capital. What I'm doing basically, I'm storing some country along with the capital. So if I click on this manage countries, I can, you can see like I have this many, you know, country along with the capital. It's a very simple metadata. So let now let me jump to the Visual Studio code. So the first method that we'll be discussing today is the get all. So what this method is basically doing, first of all, this is a new method that is coming up with the Spring 21 release. And what this method is doing, if you use this method along with the metadata name, which is in my case, country underscore underscore MDT, if you use this get all method, it is basically returning you a map of uh, the entire metadata, uh, entire custom metadata. So I've used this one and it's giving me uh, all the countries and then I'm doing a system.debug to find out how many countries I have. Then I'm running a loop uh, with all the country and printing the country name and then uh, fetching the capital. So that's what I'm doing. So now let me jump back to my developer console and let me close all this log and open my anonymous window and then let me execute this command or this uh, method. This method is not required any parameter, so that's good. Now execute and let me open the log. Once you open the log, I can see in the system I have six countries, six metadata or six countries, and these are all the countries along with the capital. So as you can see, I have fetched the entire metadata without doing any SQL query. So that's the first method that is coming up with the Spring 21 release. Now the second method which is which is also coming up is the get instance. And what this method is basically doing, so instead of have instead of fetching the entire metadata, if you know the record ID or API name or the developer name, you can pass that value and then this method will give you only that particular record from the metadata instead of that entire custom, instead of the, all the metadata entries, right? So, so the method that I've written, it's a fetch capital where uh, I'm passing the country name and then the country name is getting passed to this gate instance, gate instance method. And what this, uh, what this method will do, it will give me that one single uh, metadata entry. And then I'm doing a, again a system.debug with the country name which I've passed to this method and then the capital. Here I've used the safe navigation operator. It is a very good way to do your null check. So if you haven't uh, used that safe navigation operator, I highly recommend have a look. Uh, the links are, uh, the link of my video, how to use the safe navigation operator is at the top, uh, top of your screen. Also I've mentioned uh, the link and the blog post in the description of this video. So you can always check this out. Now coming back to this method. So now if I run this fetch capital in the anonymous window, so let me go back to my anonymous window and this one, and this time let me pass India as a country name. And if I open and click on this debug only, I can see uh, this is a country name and this is the capital, right? So now it, it is not returning me the entire metadata, rather it is returning me only one single uh, metadata entity or metadata record. Now, if I, if I pass, uh, some wrong value and execute. Then if I open the log again, this time I passed in IND, but there's no country called IND. So that's why the capital is null. Now this is the beauty of the safe navigation operator. Again, highly recommended. Please have a look and try to use that. Uh, but uh, coming back to this topic. So these are the two methods that is coming up with the Spring 21 release to 
to fetch your metadata content without doing any SQL query.